Tiny TV. Today we're gonna test out if um, yeah, what's the first all about these hard shell harnesses. But there are specialists that know all about these kind of things. So uh, first we're going over to uh, our laboratory in Groningen to see what uh, Leon from Kite Medical uh, thinks uh, why we need these kind of harnesses. Come along, people. What we got now, and that will be amazing, is this fantastic board. Pop off and train usability. Leon. Steph. So uh, we are here with uh, Leon. Leon, hello. Hello. You are a sport physiotherapist. I'm a sport physical therapist uh, here in Groningen with Fysiosportief and Kite Medical. And of course, uh, I see a lot of uh, injured kite surfers. Um, I have a question. How does it work, a harness? A, no a normal harness, a conventional harness, how does it work? How does it work? That's a really um, complex uh, question, yeah. but let's start with the anatomy of the human body. Very I think good. if you look at this uh, iPad, we have a, a human body with only bones, and if we zoom it a little bit out, you can see actually the lumbar spine, actually the whole spine, and around that, I can show you as well, there's a lot of muscles. So what the harness has to do is actually yeah, fitting around it. So I bring you to the other side, Steph. If we look at it, yeah. this is the pelvic. Your legs will be here. Yeah. Your arms will be somewhere around here. Yes. The head is over here. You're looking that direction. Very good. And then we have a lot of vertebras. And you, you, can, you can just, how are they functioning? functioning. It's really easy. It's just like stones. If we put them over here, and we want to pick it up like this, it goes wrong. Okay. So we need a little bit of support. And the support, what we need, is what I told you already on the iPad, is the muscles around the vertebras. They give the stability. Uh, yeah. So it's really important that the little muscles in your back are working really well. And if they are working really well and the big muscles are giving you the power that you need for kite surfing, and a harness is close to this part, then you have the ideal situation. Okay, so again, the big muscles are for the movement. Correct. The small muscles are the red ones for the stability. That's true. And your harness is for extra support. Excellent, because we have a situation with a lot of forces. Just, just imagine, you just have a rope, just yeah. a single cord rope. Yeah. Put it on your middle, mm -hmm. just pull. Yeah. Then you have one single cord just on one vertebra, yeah. and then it can go off. Yeah, it will slide. There, those, it will slide. So you always need like a lumbar lock in, 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 a, in a harness. That means that you, you're using a bigger part in your harness to, yeah. Push in your back. To push in your back and not to pull. Okay, so you, you need a push and not a pull. That's a, that's what I think. Yeah, I will show you. I will show you. Yes. Now now now, now we get to the big. They will be amazing. Yes. I will, we will do some practice. Steph, now we're gonna do an, uh, a little investigation. This is what I mean with pull and push. Pull and push. Okay. I'm the kite. Yeah. I'm pulling yeah. on a single rope. Yeah. Or on a harness that's really flexible. Yeah. It feels like this. Yeah. Now I use the hard shell. It's closer to your body mm -hmm. and it feels like this. Okay. That's the difference between a push and a, and a pull. Okay. What do you think? With the first one I get like that. I can have hyperextension yeah. we call yeah. it. Like and that's happening where actually when you when you pop off and jumping high, it pulls a lot so if you can reduce it by a good stable harness like like a, a hard shell yeah. it, it locks you okay and, and, and you and you put me uh, more around in the hips yeah it's more lower in the yeah. lower back not not you didn't pull me on the ribs if the harness is, is pushing here yeah it, it doesn't feel comfortable because okay. imagine that the kite is pulling and you get this yeah so yeah. it should be more okay here. Okay. I think that's the main difference between a hard shell and a really soft one. So it, it's it's like a like a like a good handshake, for example. Hey, um, Leon. Yeah. I've got a harness. Uh, my own harness is very soft. Yeah. 
Uh, I think it, it forms with my body. At least it's, it, it's your color. Yeah, it's At my color. Yes, I, I like pink yeah. most, but... Uh, my opinion of this one, because it's really, really soft. Yeah. And the story, what I told you uh, before, is that I don't want to be um, flexible, at least not here. Because if, if the kite's pulling and uh, you get your, uh, you, you pull your uh, lower back in uh, extension, yes. that's, that's not comfortable. And if you did compare to, uh, for example, a, a, a hard shell, yes. it, doesn't, it, it, it doesn't move. It's, it supports your lower back, it doesn't give anything away. Okay. Does that mean that this will be the perfect harness for everyone? No, it's not. This is just a harness. This is a harness and I think the most important thing is that try it on the water and then make the decision. Test your harness. Test your harness. Okay. And, not, and not in a shop and hang on a cord or whatever, but do it on the water. Do you have three tips for us? Choose a harness, yes. Now, first of all... Uh, I like Leon. Yeah. I, I, I just want to have three short tips. One. Fit a harness and try it on the water. Two. This is a medium. Yes. Try also a large one. Three. Train your core. That's the most important thing. If your muscles help you, the harness will help you. I have a question on the kite forum. Um, the height of your harness. Yeah. Can you tell us uh, something about it? There are two regular harnesses. Uh, one is the uh, soft one and one is the hard shell. And you see the height difference. Yeah. But if you take a, a, a closer look, yeah. the red part, it doesn't do anything. It's just, oh, it's, it's there, like is no, there is no support, even here. So actually we can just pull it off and probably more or less the same. Okay. It's comfortable, but it's not, yeah, it's functioning, but for another reason. This harness, when I have it like that, it's like straight. Yep. And with the right engine, it's like it, it has a curve. Yeah, but this is. And this has two of that thick things in it. Yeah, but that's the difference, I think, between. Not, not I think. That's, I know for sure. Be, uh, the difference between a hard shell and a smart shell. Conventional. This uh, is a conventional and this is a hard shell. The, the difference is that it's, it, there is a lumbar lock. So okay. this part should be in your lower back and stay there. Okay. So it doesn't move. So you need a hard one and you need a little bit uh, of rounding over here because the muscles are working there and they should, they should be free for moving. Yes. Uh -huh. But yeah, that's the main uh, thing I, I think. Okay, very good. Leon, thank you man. No problem, you're welcome. Hello so people, I've been uh, working uh, really hard to get all the tips from uh, Kai Medical and uh, working my uh, core strength. So uh, yeah, it's time uh, to test out. These harnesses will do the rest of the trick. <laughs>